All right, now let's talk about India and China. The ties between the two nations are back in focus on account of two major developments. First, reports on the meeting between Dr. S.J. Shankar and Chinese counterpart Wang Yi and reports of occupational activity along the LAC. In the latest, External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar and his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi met on the sidelines of the Munich Security Conference. This is the first in-person meeting between the two in about six months. The India-China relationship in the backdrop has been marked by continuing tensions along the line of actual control that stemmed from the Galwan clashes of 2020. In the latest reports have surfaced that Chinese nationals have started occupying the border defence villages along India's northeastern border. Now these are the Shaokang border defence villages. Xiaokang means moderately prosperous or well-off villages. Now these began to crop up along the middle and the eastern sectors of the line of actual control, about six to seven kilometers from the LAC. Needless to say, this is a concerning development as this could amount to an escalation in the ongoing tensions. As per reports, China has been building these so-called well-off villages since the year 2019. Wakened up until a few months ago, these are now being taken by Chinese nationals opposite the Loit Valley and the Toang sector of Arunachal Pradesh. While the exact purpose of these villages is not clear, it is perceived widely that these will serve as multi-purpose infrastructure. That is to say that they can serve both civilian and military purposes, which naturally is a concern for India. Another blatant display of China's baseless territorial claims. Earlier, as a response to these moves by China, the Indian government announced its vibrant villages program. This was done in 2022 in a bid to develop its own modern villages in areas along the line of actual control.